Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to look at uh, this question. That is uh, the figure below shows a section of a ticker timer operating at a frequency of 50 uh, hertz. Now a ticker timer is usually used to determine the frequency, velocity and acceleration uh, over a short distance over a short over a short distance so here we have the spacings we have uh, how many dots we have one two three four five uh, six and the spacing between two dots is called a tick, tick. Uh, so the first question is asking find the average velocity between a and b between a and b before we start uh, finding the uh, velocity First, you have to find uh, the time uh, between uh, or the time taken uh, between two dots. And how do you get time? Because we know that time is equals to one all over the frequency. One all over what? The frequency. So we have one divided by, and what is the frequency of the ticker timer? It is 50 hours. Therefore, one all over 50. So here we are going to have uh, 0 0.02 seconds. That is the time taken uh, uh, between two dots. Good. Now let us find the average velocity between A and B. How can we get that? So we know that to find a velocity, velocity between A and B, then we say the distance between A and B divided by the time taken between A and B. We know the distance is 5 centimeters. If you change 5 centimeters into meters, you are going to get 0 0.05 meters. Then divide by the time between two, uh, two, two dots, which is 0 0.02. So you can multiply times 100 to remove the decimal. So here we're going to have a 5 divided by 2. And the average velocity between A and B will be 2.5 meters per second. 2.5 meters per second. Let us look the second uh, part of the question. The second part of the question is asking, find the average velocity between D and E. So, to find the average velocity between D and E, then we say it is the distance between DE divided by the time taken between D and E. So, we have 15 centimeters. We change into meters, divide by 100. So, it will be 0 0.15 meters Divide by the time between D and E, which is 0 0.02. Okay, so again, we, we remove the decimal times 100. Times 100. So here we are going to have. Here we are going to have uh, 15 divided by 2. And the average velocity between D and E will be 7.5 meters per second. Good. Now, let us move to the last part of the question, which is asking, uh, find the average acceleration. We know that to get acceleration, we must have the final velocity minus the initial velocity divide by the time taken okay or change in time good and we know that uh, the final velocity will be the average velocity between d and e and the initial velocity will be the velocity between a and b very good so we come and say uh, 7.5 minus 2.5 Divide by the time taken between uh, A to E. A to A to E. 
So how are we going to get change in time? As you can see here, we have how many dots? One, two, three, four, five. So this is the final dot. Okay. So we take five. Uh, sorry, four minus that is the initial tick that is between A and B. Then we multiply time is uh, the time taken uh, for a tick. The time taken for a tick, which is zero point zero two. Very good. Uh, we said 7.5 minus 2.5. There we are going to have 5 divided by. So we have 4 minus 3. 4 minus 1. That is 3. 3 times 0 0.02. We have 0 0.06. So we can say times 100 to remove the decimal. Times 100. So here we are going to have 500 divided by uh, 6. When you divide 500 divided by 6, you should get 83.33 meters per second squared. So that will be the average acceleration. So that is how you use the ticker timer to find velocity and acceleration. Thank you very much and welcome.